What is good Marvel Squad and welcome back to our channel. You will not believe where I am at today. It is Saturday and as you can see by today's title, I'm gonna be surprising my sick wife with a spooky basket. I wish I didn't have to say the beginning part because I really wish she wasn't sick, but she is. She caught something. I don't know if it's a cold. I don't know what. Hopefully it's just like a day or two cold, but I feel like a lot of people have been getting sick lately. Like, let me know down in the comments if I'm wrong. I feel like a lot of people have been like, getting sick or feeling off. Maybe it's allergy season. Like we said, like we're going into winter. Who knows what's going around? But Mariah's at home sleeping right now. I did not even tell you where I'm at. I, I literally just skipped over that part. It is Saturday, all right? We usually try going to a specific store on Sunday, but they are always closed. Can you guess what that is? I am made it to Hobby Lobby and it has literally been two months since we've been here. We, every single time we try coming here, it's always on a Sunday and we always forget that Hobby Lobby is not open on Sunday. So I am going to be shopping around all for Mariah. Hobby Lobby is like the place to go for whatever your needs are. Like Hobby Lobby literally has like whatever you can possibly want and dream and hope for when it comes to a spooky basket. I am so excited. They have so much fall decor and that is what I'm gonna be dressing it up. I'm hoping to find a basket in here. I'm hoping to find a lot of things. I really just want this video and today and you all watching to dedicate it towards making Mariah feel better. So make sure to leave some like nice comment down below for Mariah to read. I know she's gonna go through the comments. She's literally doing nothing else today. So she's going to be basically just bedridden for the, for the next day or two. So by the time you guys are seeing this on Monday, she will love, love, love seeing those comments. But without further ado, I'm gonna head right on to Hobby Lobby and see what they got. I've never shopped here for a spooky basket video. I've done some of these in the past. So I'm really excited what I can find today and what we can dress up a basket for. Today I'm gonna to be going bigger and better than I ever have. Also make sure to stay tuned because somewhere in this video I'm gonna be dropping down a word like we do in all of our videos. And if you want a chance to get shout out in our next video, you're gonna to have to find that and comment that word down. But let's get into the store. Yo, they have so much fall stuff here. Oh my gosh, y'all. Are you kidding me? So the only thing is, before I can actually start shopping for fall stuff, you already know what I gotta find. I gotta find an actual basket. Okay, so that's gonna be the first thing I'm gonna look for today is a basket. Are you kidding? They already have the Christmas Grinch stuff up. Oh my gosh, Mariah would die if she was here right now. Literally, we got a Grinch tree last year from here and they didn't even have half of this stuff. Dude, we may have to come back with Mariah later or whenever she feels better because she would literally be buying this whole store. It's honestly probably a good thing that she's not here right now. Otherwise she would be buying this whole store. <laughs> but I'm getting sidetracked. I need a basket first, a basket, a basket. All right, I found the baskets. Now I gotta just pick what I want. Like I was looking more like something like this, but then I feel like this is so much more fall and spooky. Something like this, like this is actually super cute actually. So is this though. Wait, this is cute and it's huge. You can fit a lot of stuff in there. I actually, this might be the one, hold on. I mean, that one's kind of cute too, but I feel like there's something just drawing me to this one. I don't really want any like other colors like pink or anything. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is the one. We're definitely gonna go with this and it's way bigger. Like look at it compared to my hand and my hand's huge. So I can fit a lot of stuff in here. So this is the fun part. Now we could actually start chopping. <laughs> all right, so being the crafty guy that I am, while I was leaving the basket, I actually came across all these letters. Y'all are gonna freak out when you see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take this letter. It looks like a letter M and I'm basically going to attach it to the front of the basket. So it's literally a designated basket, one of a kind, unique. And it says M for Mariah. Dude, I've never done something like that and I feel like she's gonna absolutely freak out when she sees that. And it matches the basket. Like that is perfect. So I feel like we're doing really well. I'm about done with all of the actual decor and basket. Look at how sick this looks, look at this. We have so much stuff. I'm planning on going to the store 
getting like some cookies or something, putting them in here for her. But this is a cute thing. One last thing before we leave, I'm in the glass aisle and I noticed this glass right here. I kind of want to get some beads and fill this up and make her like a custom fall cute heart thing. So let's go try to find some bees and see how that turns out. But just something more sentimental, something that you can't just buy, something that I have to actually put in effort to make. All right, so like I said, I'm looking for something folly. My goal is to find something brown. And I think I'm gonna use something like this, maybe like these and mix them together to fill it up. Cause I want it to represent fall still. Ooh, wait, I might need orange. I actually found something way better. So these packets are only $3 a piece. I need to find like a couple of different brown ones and then I'm gonna use like maybe this one. This is super folly. I know it looks kind of yellow, but uh, maybe I'll use this one. I don't know, I kind of want it just to be more pastel -y, not like hard orange, but I feel like when you put them up to here, it looks more folly. So like I'm gonna mix match a couple of these and see which ones I think I want. And then obviously I'm gonna dump them all into the glass heart and make like a super cute custom heart from Ryan. So these are the three colors that I decided to go with and I feel like they're super folly. We got the orange, a little less orange and brown. This is kind of like a reddish orange, but I feel like it's, it's like a blood orange. It's perfect for fall. Once I put them in that little heart, it's gonna look so cute. And it was so funny, the register girl, the register clerk, whatever you wanna call, the person that was checking me out, she literally was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Is this for like your girlfriend or whatever? I was like, yeah, it's for my wife. I'm surprising her with a basket. And she literally was just like, wishes men would do this more often. And I agree, I feel like men need to start doing these things for their girls. For like, I feel like there's not enough, what is it, chivalry? Like chivalry is dead, people say. So guys, start putting in some extra effort and doing some like simple things for your girl because like at the end of the day, it's only gonna make you happier, make her happier and grow your relationship. And honestly, at the end of the day, like nobody wants to fight. Nobody wants to feel like their, their guy or girl doesn't care. And this goes for women as well. Like women should do this for their men, but I'm just saying, I feel like men don't do this stuff enough. So I'm gonna do that. I also just made it to the grocery store. I have some like things I wanna pick out for her to fill in the thing, like maybe cookies, or some treats or some of her favorite snacks, drinks, stuff like that to complete this basket before we go home. It is currently 10.38. Today, she's probably gonna wake up around 11 because she isn't feeling good. Sometimes she likes to stay in bed until 11 just to like do, you know, do her thing, but I doubt she's even awake yet. So I have at least 20 minutes to get home and put this basket together before she even wakes up. And I wanna wake her up like with this basket. Like I wanna like put it in bed, wake her up somehow. I don't know, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, but the next step is going home and putting it together after this. So I will see you there. All right, y'all, it is literally 11 a.m. I made it home just in the nick of time. The only bad part is Mariah's probably gonna be waking up here any minute. So I have to hurry up and build this basket before she gets out here. Let's go. I'm not gonna waste any time talking, but one thing I wanna tell y'all, this is what I got. I got some cookies for the basket thing that I bought with the clear top. And then this has literally been her favorite drink, it's like the Sydney Sweeney edition one. They had so many of these at um, Publix that I had to get three boxes. Mariah literally couldn't find these for the past like two months, so she's gonna be freaking obsessed. I am so glad I went there, but I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get this basket going. All right, I think I'm gonna put the M like right here. That is so cute. Oh my God. This basket tops anything that I've ever done in the past because I'm bringing actually my creativity to life. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. That's like the statement piece right here. Look at that. Oh my God. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put this blanket on the bottom of the basket and it's going to essentially create a platform for me to build up on. So it's like a platform and then it gives me a place to build up everything and put all the stuff actually on top and she can get a little blanket after. And I just thought, why don't I put these in the bottom so she doesn't even see it? Because then she'll just be surprised and she'll be like, oh my gosh, I had no freaking idea. All right, I don't think I could really fit anymore. I have like two more boxes, but I'm just gonna leave them there for now. 
think that'll do for the moment. She's gonna be so confused why this is so much heavier than it looks. <laughs> Another thing I got and I didn't show y'all is this love sign. It says L-O-V-E as in love. And I'm really thinking about like zip tying it to the back maybe. Maybe here or the front, probably the back. Love is more than just a game for two love. I literally can't wait to give this to her. I'm so excited. Like doing stuff like this makes me so excited to just wake her up and show her what I did. Because I feel like I'm pretty creative and I try to be. So when I do stuff like this, I'm not just trying to give her a normal basket. I wanna like create a basket. So like just by doing stuff like this and this, you can't recreate that. Like you can't go to the store and just buy a basket like that anymore because this is literally something that I created from essentially a plain basket. But that's what I feel like love is. Putting the extra effort, all right? Look at that. Let's go. That is sick. I got cookies. I probably should talk quieter because I don't want her hearing any of this. I'm not gonna lie, these things are so soft. They look amazing. I feel like I packed them pretty well. I feel like a store would do this. So look at how cute this is gonna be. Ready for this? Look at that. Oh my gosh, she's gonna freaking love that. I hope every single one of y'all watching this video has someone one day that'll do this, go the extra mile for you because you deserve it. No matter who you are on here, I hope that one day you find that or you do have that because this is what life is about. The little moments that mean a lot and you just always have to keep reminding yourself that. This could have just been a regular Saturday. I could have just woken up, went on the video games or did something, you know, clean the house or did this and that. But I wanted it to be a little different. I wanted it to be special. Not every day has to feel the exact same. And routines are nice, but they also get boring. That's why, you know, doing stuff like this actually does mean a lot not just to me but like to her and our relationship because at the end of the day if you don't do stuff like this then you ain't like what are you doing well, what is your relationship you know like you, you have to think about that oh my god this is looking so good what do I do with this thing do I put it right here yeah yeah I feel like I do that this LOV in the back literally came in clutch with being able to hold stuff down this is by far gonna be my favorite basket. I know I keep saying that, but I'm not even kidding. I'm not even done yet. And I myself wish I was getting this. Like I am already obsessed. This is so cute, bro. What a, Bill, how did I, oh my gosh. I just know how to pick stuff up sometimes. You know, sometimes I'm not an ultimate failure. I feel like we can all agree sometimes. Like we feel like we don't know what we're doing. I feel like I know what I'm doing today. A little bit, a little bit more than usual. <laughs> All right, so it is currently 11.14. I've been doing this for 15 minutes almost. I have to finish the heart. The heart is the last step of the process and I'm gonna do it right in front of your eyes right now. I don't know if you guys know exactly what I wanna do, but I think what I'm gonna do, should I mix these in a baggie first and then pour them in? That is smart. That is a very smart idea. I don't know how I thought about that, okay. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That looks exactly how I wanted it to look. It's not too brown, it's not too light orange. Now, this is the, this is the genius part. Just like when you bake a cake, I'm gonna cut a small hole and I'm going to hopefully successfully pour this into here. Try not to over pour that is. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is the stuff that makes me happy. Like being able to do little things. The last thing I'm actually gonna do is super glue this cork on because at the end of the day, I don't want it to come off and I don't want the beads to spill everywhere. I feel like the whole point of this is just like keeping it in forever and you know, we can put this in the garage when we're not using it during the uh, non-holiday season, but we can bring this back out every year 
and enjoy it so much. Voila! It is glued. It should be settled in like the next 15 minutes and this top will hopefully never come off and the heart will last forever. This is so cute. And honestly, it goes with the basket so well. One other thing I did off camera is I put this potions book little creepy to make it that spooky vibe to go along with the fall stuff so this has a spider on it and it looks super cute i am absolutely obsessed are you ready to surprise her with this as you can see a little close up on the spell book to add that creepy notion i put the heart in the middle the pumpkins and decor absolutely killed it the love you can still fully see in the back and then you have her name right here. I am so, so happy with this. I wanna give y'all the word to comment down below. And honestly, we've never done this, but I'm gonna change it to a letter. So I want y'all to comment down below this letter right here, all right? This letter right in front to be able to get a shout out in our next video. We're gonna pick a select few of you from the comments to shout out in our next video. Are y'all ready to wake Mariah up? I think I'm gonna bring this directly into the room. And if I did not mistaken this message right here, I'm guessing she just woke up so she can definitely hear me right now. So let's go into the room. I'm gonna have her close her eyes and we can kind of wake her up. It is 11.23. We actually made really good time. It only took me about two hours of my day and only about 23 minutes to set this up. But like I said, comment down below what you think about this basket. I really hope you liked it. I really tried on it. And if you love our channel and you're loving this video and you wanna see more, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Every like helps us do more videos. It shows us your support. And it means a lot seeing all of the feedback from all y'all. But that's my spiel. Let's go in the room and surprise her. It is the time, bro. I thought it would never come. I thought this time would never go. Good morning. She's awake. <laughs> How do you feel? How's my baby feeling today? It's like a, it's unexplainable. Like you still sick? Like I'm just yeah. Like my body just feels weird. My throat feels weird. It's like mm -hmm. congested right in my throat. Yeah. It's like weird though. Yeah. So I feel like if I had the flu again, I would be sick better. No, I know. That's why I'm like I want to stay away from you, but I also do, I feel no, like I you're don't not. Want you to get yeah, I know. I don't want to get sick. We're okay. supposed to travel in a little bit, yeah. but I, I have a surprise for you before we say anything else. You do? Yeah. What? Can I bring it in? You're going to bring it in here? Yeah. Unless you want to walk out there. You no, just woke right, up though. No, come on right in. I just, I wasn't expecting to get out of bed, but say less. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. All right. <laughs> there maybe. All right. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Open. Surprise! Bill Ritter. <laughs> Bill Ritter. This what? is probably one of the best baskets you've ever made me ever. I'm like in shock. I don't even want to touch it. What the heck is this? Hold on, I gotta take a picture of this. Scar, please stop playing with it. Hey. Scar and Snappy. Hold on, let me get the kitties. Or they could be in the picture. It's kind of cute. This is literally the cutest thing, babe, ever. You like it? Yes, baby. Oh All right, yeah, you gotta look through it. You gotta see what I did. So there's things that you probably won't see. Oh my gosh, there's like a, this is actually on it. This is actually on the basket. What, the M? The M, or did you do something, did you put it on? I put it on. Well, you would have never known. That literally matched I know. so perfectly. Okay, I stop, know. you're ruining it. <laughs> Keep it out. Yeah, here, come on. <gasps> Wet, wet food, come on. Come on, wet food, huh, nerd, nerds. I'm sorry, that's so mean, but that's the only way I can get them out is by taunting them. I will give them their wets after. A little bead. Okay, so I bought that and I bought the beads and I made that for you. I, I mixed three different beads together and I made that for you. And it was like a heart glass, you know what I'm talking about? You can watch the video of me making the basket whenever we done posting. I know. Like this, I bought you this and I bought, I went to Publix and I bought cookies and I put them in that. Dang, So Bill. I got you some cookies. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. <laughs> I just want to make you feel better, you know? I wanted, I wanted also to add the spooky, the spooky vibe with that, with that. But I wanted to do something for you because I know you, you're not feeling good, baby. So don't you like that? That's like a natural scent. I know, that's like a natural scent and everything. Wow, this is, I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> and as you can see, there's a blanket in there. Oh, no, I don't want to mess it up, is it? There I is a surprise it? underneath. There is? Yeah. Oh God, okay. 
Oh my gosh, Ruby, you went all out. You did this all this morning? Yeah, I just want to make you feel better. I know you've been feeling down, so. And you're so aesthetically pleasing. Thanks, I feel like I did really well. I thought they would have said to it, but. I'm actually surprised of how well everything like went together. Oh, by the way, I uh, put the love thing on too. I don't know if you noticed. Oh, you did that too? Yeah. Dude, this basket literally, right? you could like make money. I like, know, I should make, I should create baskets and like sell them. Oh my God. It's cause you couldn't. Like, you found all my beige. Uh, there's about double more in the kitchen too. That couldn't really? fit in the basket. Yep. Oh my God. Baby, I found baby. them. I found them in the, the packs of six, the pack. It was only seven dollars for a pack of six, oh and it's two thirty for one. Y'all don't know this. It's like not hard to find this flavor, but it kind of is. I let them know. I was at the store and I told them like, "Oh yeah, y'all don't understand how much she's been wanting to find these." But oh, this blanket's so nice too. Thank you, baby. This was really, really, really sweet. You like it? No, I loved it, and because a lot of this is like your creativity. Yeah. And I love that about you. And that's why I didn't want to. I didn't want to do anything like yeah. I want. I wanted to like do this stuff. Special, like create I can stuff. Forever because like this is what you made. Like I know. You created this. So you like it? Does it make you feel a little better? Yeah. I, mean, I want to kiss oh, you, but I, I, I know I want to kiss you. Here, I'll give you a huggy. I'll give you a huggy. Oh. Like I said, she's sick. We we're going to Chicago in a week. And we don't want a chance of getting sick, but. It's like the cutest setup. Do you like it? I love it. Here. I love it. So I love yeah. this basket, baby. Wait, and you literally made a basket for um our blankets. Yeah. Remember when I said I Oh yeah, no, basket? we can use it. We can use it for whatever, you know, Isn't all the throw adorable. blankets. And I thought the M was sick because it literally matches the basket we feel. And I was like, dude, I'm gonna create an actual, I'm not gonna just buy a basic basket. I'm gonna create a basket. And this love thing, oh my God, it goes along with the black no, weave you, throughout the basket. You have such a, if you don't know what's about Bill, Bill is like very artsy and creative. Like, and that's what I love about him so much is he just like, like this, for example, like that's crazy. Yeah. Like I would, I don't have an eye like this. Like you have an eye for like- You are, you do. I, I just, do, I, I always have like, I love creativity. So yeah. I try to put that in every little thing that I do. And especially with our love. I love being creative. I know. So before I end this video, we do want to shout out all of y'all that just watched our recent trying Mexican snacks for the first time. We told everyone to comment down the word chili. So let's shout a few of y'all out right now for being so supportive. So we're going to give a shout out to Gwen Gymnast. Gwen, shout out to you. Alisa Howard. Alisa. Thank you so much for watching our channel. Kiera Britton. Shout out to Kiera. Kiera. Uh, Camila. Ooh. Carasco? Carasco? I think it's Camila. Camila? C A M I L A Carasco 3784. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. And last but not least, I want to shout out Annie W. Thank you so much for all of y'all commenting on those words and watching that video. We appreciate y'all support. I already told y'all what to comment down below in this video. If you did not see that, it's not fall and I'm not going to say anything. Make sure if you missed it, you're going to have to go back somewhere because I did. Might have pointed it out actually. But thank y'all so much for watching this video. I can't wait for my baby to rewatch it so she can see the, the whole process of me creating it and stuff. I love you. I hope you feel better and this was all for you. So let's enjoy and relax for the rest of the day.